the whole thing's very surreal. <laughs> it's exciting, but it's really, it's completely surreal. I didn't, I could only dream of working for a fashion house in Paris, such as Angoro. What I'm filming on set, I, I, I picked the wardrobe with the stylist for the film um, because I wanted to kind of, you know, I wanted to determine what the character is going to be like just from the first appearance. Um, so I think that it all works together in a lot of ways. Estrella came to LA and um, we spoke about what our ideas for the collection would be. She brought some sketches. I had already had some sketches um, and she basically came into my house, which is a three-story closet. It literally is. I think being behind the scenes is so much more important and feels so much better because I can kind of run with any ideas that I have and then kind of sum it all up together. And um, Estrella and I are working on that really well. As an artistic advisor, I'm still kind of working it all out. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very hands-on. I would never put my name behind or in front of anything that I'm not 100% plus involved with and fully in. Women want to feel sexy, but they also want to feel comfortable with what they're wearing. You don't want to, I mean, I know that some shoes I may wear or some corseted dresses are not going to be comfortable, but it's worth it for that red carpet woman. I'll change when I get inside in the restroom <laughs> um, because I feel like there's too many great things to show off and I'd like to wear them all in one night if I can. <laughs> I don't think there should ever be rules within life itself. Um, if you give yourself too many boundaries, then you kind of, you don't learn, you don't learn from your mistakes and you don't get to live a full life. Um, and I've learned from my mistakes. I don't, I don't regret things that I've done. I mean, there's some I'd take back, but I wouldn't be the person I am today without them, so. No rules, especially with fashion. Pain is beauty. It's a collaboration between the two of us that's, it really, we complement each other, and um, it's working out beautifully, and this whole experience is, it's a whirlwind, but it's, I mean, it's a dream come true. It's really, I'm really honored to be a part of it. Lindsay has an eye for fashion. She is on the cover of a lot of magazines. She has a house that is a mini department store. She knows what the word cool means. She loves Ungaro. And above all, she knows what makes a chick tick. I think she's very particular in a positive way. She mixes and matches. She is a woman of today. Uh, I think we're living in a society of ageless people. I like the way she articulates uh, her choices of fashion, of clothing, of accessories. Um, she's living in a, in, uh, in a society where uh, occasional dressing is really out and I think attitude dressing is in. Well, Estrella has a lot of experience, uh, and she's got a very high uh, level of uh, sensitivity for what uh, the Ungaro the DNA uh, stands for. In this new concept, uh, we are putting together a, uh, an experienced designer, Estrella, and uh, Lindsay as a super consumer who brings a lot of ideas to the table and through that we're reaching out directly to the consumer.